He had a calm, kind manner that flowed easily through the radio. But WXRT's Lynn Bramer wasn't just a talented broadcaster. He was a really good guy who loved music, the Cubs, his listeners, and mostly his family. Tonight, family, friends, and colleagues are remembering Lynn. He died this morning after a tough battle with cancer. Our Jim Williams spoke with him back in November as Lynn was just about to return to work during a short break in his treatment. Is that going to be therapeutic for you? Absolutely. Uh, radio has been my life. Music has been my life. And whenever I've had a rough time or a joyous time, it's the music I turn to. So getting back on the air and sharing music with uh, XRT listeners is uh, something that I was hoping that I'd be able to do again. Just love that voice. Lynn Bramer bravely, bravely fought his cancer for several years. He was 68 years old. Wrigley Field paid tribute to the legendary radio host. The iconic Cubs marquee now bears his name. Though Bramer wasn't a Chicago native, he was a longtime Cubs fan and on the air here since 1991. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. during what was his regular time slot on 93XRT, Bramer's XRT family will celebrate his life. On social media today, Chicago rock band Wilco saying of Lynn, forever loved, forever missed with a broken heart. The band Los Lobos said it is with the heaviest of hearts we mourn the passing of our good pal and sixth Lobo, Lynn Bramer. We had no better friend or bigger supporter on earth. Former Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel says Lynn Bramer was the voice of Chicago. His voice was unique and a perfect way to start the day. An ambassador for the city's music scene and a dear friend. And the Vic Theater's message sort of speaks to how wide his net went. It's hard to imagine anyone who supported the Chicago music scene they wrote with more verve than Lynn Bramer. A man who stood on every stage in the city to welcome all of us to a night of great music. And he always said on the radio, he's your best friend in the whole world. But Dana, you two were friends. We were friends and we had been friends for 25 years and I was honored to have filled in on his show. We saw a lot of shows together and hung out afterwards and he was just a wonderful guy. And as my friend put it earlier today, Chicago, he brought so much joy to the city of Chicago and the city will be a lot less brighter hmm. now. Sorely missed and will be listening tomorrow as his friends and colleagues pay tribute. Yep, I certainly will.